Now let's talk about inductance and putting a coil into this circuit. And inductance and inductive reactance. Coils do not like changes in a circuit to the current. They don't like us to change the current. And I think about this like I think about my good friend Droopy Dog. And Droopy Dog does not like change. Inductive circuits with coils don't like when you start a circuit, when you try to increase current. They're slow to get going and once current is flowing through the circuit they don't want to stop. So this is this is exactly Droopy Dog. Droopy Dog is like a roommate, a college roommate that I had and that guy did not want to get up in the morning. He would get up about 1 or 2 o'clock in the afternoon. He was really slow to get going. And inductive circuits don't like to stop once they get going. They try to keep current flowing and that's like he was. This roommate of mine, he wouldn't, he was slow to get up in the morning and he would want to stay up all night and he'd go to bed about about 5 a.m. when all of us, we'd already been sleeping all night. So, so Droopy Dog does not like changes in current. Slow to get going and then once current is flowing is resistant to stopping the current and that's what a coil does when you put it in a, in a circuit. It becomes an inductive circuit. The relationship of inductive reactance is 90 degrees to resistance and once again this merely describes the relationship that we have mathematically and how we'll try to solve for impedance which is the hypotenuse of this triangle. We have what's called a phase angle and when you when you put an inductor into a circuit it changes the AC phase. We have a phase shift.